Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be going through some of the best Mandalorian armor sets in the game because Mandalorians are undoubtedly some of the coolest looking characters in all of Star Wars and no matter which era you're looking at and especially in the Swotar universe we see a lot of uh, emphasis on you know Mandalorian stuff like that you see them all over the game and especially if you're playing someone like a bounty hunter class you're going to probably want to uh, be decked out in some of the really nice Mandalorian outfits so that's what I'm going to be doing for you in this video I'm going to be going through both affordable armor sets that you could get even if you were just a free to play or preferred player and then also going to some of the most expensive armor sets but the nicest ones nonetheless so getting right into it firstly we have the Mandalore the preservers armor set now this is a gold armor set in my opinion one of the nicest looking ones uh, and as you guys can see on the GTN going for actually pretty affordable prices now uh, in this GTN listings that you see here, they're actually pretty cheap, but oftentimes they go even cheaper than this. I see them time and time again, the entire armor set going for under 2 million credits. So while that's still a lot of credits, if you actually take a look at how nice this armor set looks, that's not bad. This is also a very old armor set. Back in the day, it was very popular and very, very expensive. Very recently, I'm not sure why it's taking a dip in price. It just has, and people constantly, time and time again, have been putting this up on the GTN. It did drop out of the Galactic Legends armor packs which were recently available on the cartel market so that might be one reason why we're seeing this dip in price but nonetheless you should definitely take advantage of this a very Django fet ish looking uh, mandalorian armor set and undoubtedly the helmet is probably the nicest helmet of any mandalorian um, armor design and then the upper body armor is not bad as well if you do want to get a knockoff version of the upper body armor that was a uh, reskinned into a bronze version called the coil explorers upper body armor so if you have like other armor pieces and you're just struggling to get that upper body armor you can actually get a very cheap version uh, you can just get that bronze reskin it basically looks exactly the same secondly going into Mandalore the ultimates armor set this is also one of the nicest ones uh, there are two versions you have the Mandalore the ultimate and Mandalore the indomitable now they're both silver Mandalore the ultimate is also selling very cheap at this moment because that dropped out of the grand nightlife packs which once again were also very recently available on the cartel market and they dropped out of those like crazy and so now the GTN is pretty flooded so once again now is a great time to pick up those deals if you're looking to deck your character out once again I absolutely love this armor set as well I have both the Mandalore the preservers and the ultimate on my mercenary and I interchangeably use them time and time again uh, the helmet of this set is also very, very nice. And um, yeah, going on into the next one, we have the Royal Roland Dyer's armor set. Now, this one is not as nice as the other ones, but it is the cheapest. So if you're on a budget, this is definitely one you're going to want to look out for. Uh, you can get the entire armor set for like under 500k right now once again they're going for a little bit more expensive that's only because i'm always buying up the deals like whenever that thing drops under 500k the entire armor set i'll almost always buy it but now after making this video i promise i'll leave them up on the gtn if you're on the harbinger server you're probably going to find some really good deals and if you're on another server hopefully you'll also see the similar drop in price once again the helmet from this one is really nice the helmets for a lot of these mandalorian armor sets are just awesome and um, i actually have the roland dyer's helmet i'm using that on my mercenary as well the upper body armor is okay it's not crazy good but uh, you know I, I can see it appealing to some people I personally like to mix and match the helmet of this one with uh, other upper body armors but very cheap okay so if you're on a budget this is the one to go for now next we have Cassus Fett's armor set very very expensive on the GTN now right now this is like upwards of 25 30 million credits for the armor set uh, this one dropped out of a pack that is still available on the cartel market right now because Bioware is going through this phase where they're bringing back these grand packs which drop all of these really old uh, armor sets and stuff and Cassus Fed does drop out of the most recent grand pack. So that means the market is going to be more flooded now than it ever will be. This is one of the most expensive Mandalorian armor sets. The helmet and the upper body armor look amazing. This one has the nicest upper body armor I will see for any Mandalorian armor set. I absolutely love that little cape at the back and everything looks awesome. The helmet is also very, very nice. Not as nice in my opinion as the Mandalorian the Preservers, uh, but still very, very nice nonetheless. And right now I see like sales of this for like 10, 11 million credits. I personally am really happy because I just completed the set. I picked up like the gloves and the pants. I needed those to complete the set. I got the helmet and the upper body armor way back in the day when they were actually pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to complete the set and you have the credits, like you are rolling in dough, you should definitely look into getting this armor set. Okay, now going on into some of the really, really affordable stuff. That was some of the more expensive stuff. You know, even some of that stuff is going for one to two million. Not everyone has that kind of credits. So 
here we're going to get into some of the really, really cheap stuff that still looks very, very nice. So the RDA Hellfire. Now this one is available from a vendor and as you guys can see, uh, that vendor is located here. It is legacy armor, meaning you can transfer it to all of your characters and all the mods that you put in here and stuff, you can just transfer them across your character. So it's very useful. But the armor set itself also looks very, very nice. So if you're looking for a very cheap Mandalorian armor, maybe you've just joined the game and just you're rolling a new bounty hunter for the first time, you can run over to this vendor and buy this set, entire set for like under 10k credits. And it looks absolutely stunning for an armor set at that price. Also, uh, a quick note is that this skin, like what you see here, has been reskinned time and time again. Bioware has even reskinned this and put it into armor sets and put those into cartel packs. You'll see that later on in this video when I show you guys some of the stuff on the GTN. So keep in mind that if you're looking for uh, an armor set, this is basically a cartel market armor set because this stuff's been reskinned and put into cartel packs and it's available from this vendor for a very cheap price. So definitely look into getting that if you are on a complete budget and you have absolutely no credits to spend. If we go on to the GTN now, and we look at some of the stuff on the GTN, uh, some of the cartel market stuff remaining that still um, sells for decent prices, like the Mandalorian Seeker. Now, this is one of those things I was talking about. It's just a reskinned version of that legacy set I showed you earlier. But if you do want to get a more finessed, a little bit better looking cartel market version, you can look for the Mandalorian Seeker. It is a bronze armor set, so it won't be selling for very, very much. My preview is glitching a lot here now, so unfortunately, I can't really show you guys uh, how the armor set looks in all of its glory, but uh, you know you get you get kind of the um, the idea. We also have some gold ones like the Mandalorian Clansman and the Mandalorian Hunter armor sets. Now these are gold. They are pretty rare, uh, so they do sell for very very high prices. And in my opinion, they're not really worth it. I'm only including them here because they do have unique designs. But uh, the Mandalorian Hunter is just kind of a reskin, so I'm not sure why anyone would want to buy that. But the Mandalorian Clansman does look a little bit different. Um, yeah, so if you want to look, look into getting that, I personally think some of the other stuff that goes for cheaper actually looks a lot nicer. But I did want to throw it in this video because it is a Mandalorian armor set. And then finally, I want to jump into a tip that I often give with these videos, which is remember that some of the really, really nice looking armor pieces are not from the cartel market at all. So if you jump into the GTN here and you sort you by armor, you go to um, the headpieces and then you go to green. Okay, so you want the premium level armor and you click search. What you'll find is all of these green level armor pieces. Now these are often things that drop from mobs and stuff. Maybe some of them are available from vendors and people are just kind of throwing this stuff up on the GTN. It often goes for like vi just throwaway credits like 10, 5, 5, 10k. Uh, so anyone can basically have access to these and they are actually very very nice designs okay this stuff looks absolutely amazing in my opinion so anyone who was on a budget and did not have the millions of credits to get one of the nicer armor sets i showed you earlier just jump on the gtn and check some of these out i personally would actually prefer using this stuff than a lot of the cartel market stuff it often looks much nicer and this isn't kind of limited to just mandalorian stuff as you guys can see i'm previewing here some very nice mandalorian looking helmets but also there's some nice bounty hunter stuff there for you uh go and uh, search for some of the nice Sith helmets or Jedi stuff. It all looks absolutely amazing and um, great for people that do not have the credits to go buy some of the more expensive stuff. And the beauty of this is that um, these things don't give you good stats at all, but we have outfit designer, which means you can just stamp the item in your outfit designer and then have another outfit that you're using for stats. So basically you can just stamp the design and that way you don't have to worry about the fact that these are green level. Uh, that's one of the reasons they sell for like nothing on the GTN because no one will buy them because they don't have good stats. But you can always use it for your outfit designer and get a really nice design going. Then of course you can go ahead and do the same thing with upper body armors and even if you want to do you can check out the gloves and the boots and stuff and you'll find all of these really unique designs and these designs aren't uh, rare obviously they're available from like mob drops and stuff and uh, they're reskinned time and time again so it's not like you'll have the most exclusive thing in the world but once again if you don't have any credits it's much better than any of the other cartel market stuff you'll find. So you might want to go ahead and look at that. But that's kind of the end of this video. These are some of the nicest Mandalorian armor stuff in the game. And I enjoy um, role playing as a Mandalorian, especially when it comes to the Bounty Hunter story. That was actually one of my most, I don't know, best Swotar experiences was role playing as a Mandalorian Bounty Hunter. And I had a lot of fun. And if you're just starting this game, I think this video, uh, you know, was really going to give you a good foundation for just in future. Like which, if you want to uh, dress up your Sith or your uh, Jedi or something, you know, don't have to go to the cartel market. You can find some really cheap stuff here.
In any case, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys have some more tips and tricks that I forgot in this video, make sure you leave it in the comment section and that'll be great for any of the other newbies that are coming to this channel and uh, they want to learn a little bit more. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.